welcome back so in this video we are going to learn how to get started with github and uh, this is going to be useful to uh, like students so what we are going to do uh, for example for our projects you realize that we need to have a github repository so this video has a purpose or objective to show you how you need to start up uh, with github so what i'll do i'll just go to github.com then click sign up and then enter my email produce atom at c lab.ac.ke please don't send me emails <laughs> i'm going to create my password um i want to enter that password so let me just uh let me see that i can remember it okay click continue enter my username uh, i'll just say atom tutor and then press continue would you like to receive updates i'll just press no I don't need any updates from them i need to solve some puzzles start some puzzle there's a spiral galaxy spiral galaxy yes create account so they have sent me an email yes i need to save that No, I need to save it so that it doesn't give me issues. So I go to my email and uh, under updates, I see GitHub. So copy that code and come here, paste it. It doesn't paste with Control V, so I'll just have to you know, write it somewhere or cram it. So let me go here. Yes. Uh, it's just me in the team. I'm a teacher for now, but definitely I'm a student. Mm. Yes, collaborative coding. Uh, yeah, that's what I want. I want to use the free one. Then it's initializing my you can read this tour. I am not interested in them. You can go here and change your profile. For example, add your picture. So I can just go here and look for cartoon. So let me look for PNG. Ah, huh, I like this one. This one doesn't have any copyright. So come here. Edit that. Photo cartoon. And save that as my profile picture. My name is Tom Tudor. My email will be a 
okay i don't want to do any bio and then update the profile so once i update my profile i can go back to github and then now start creating my repositories so i want to start with this project uh, so we need a repository called alx low level programming so i'll go here copy it go to my github click create repository and then just paste it there okay you just paste it there leave every other thing uh the way it is ensure that it's public and click create repository okay so we have created the repository here so another thing you need is access code so once you visit github forward slash settings tokens you can click on generate new token give a note for example this one i'm saying alx uh, se training software engineering training and i'm not i'll set no expiration and uh, the scope please define the scope and ensure that the scope is all the repo and uh, full control of a public user just want to set those ones delete repositories admin enterprise like i want to select most of these things okay but ensure you click the repo just ensure you click on the repo then after that i'm going to generate token please note that this token you will only see this thing once so please not uh, ensure that you keep it you save it the way i've copied it i'll go to my terminal print working directory ls and then i'll go to my documents so cd uh, documents and then ls then what i'll do i'll love v and then uh, create a tom Atom tutor access token okay then i insert that so that i will always have it in my computer okay save it you will only see it once you can also save it in your email so once i've done that i'll escape and then press this wq to save it and if i ls and you know cd cut into this i love my 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 access token perfect so once i have my access token then uh, i think now i'm done with my repo here now i have to follow the tutorial so the tutorial says once we do that once we do that update your profile on the internet so intranet intranet sorry so after creating the repository you need to go to your intranet click on profile change this to uh autumn rogers and you're being told to perform most of your projects you need to make your code available on github so make it public too and this is mandatory so please add this here and this is the username and for our case the username we created was this autumn tutor perfect after that after doing that so 
now the next step is open the sandbox and we are going to use the sandbox this one that is in the web terminal okay so do this then click web terminal and in the last video i had shown you how we can connect this terminal to our computer terminal so what we are going to write is a command to clone the repository that we just created so you write git clone after git clone we do https uh, remember the s full colon to forward slash then we paste our access token at github now notice some point when you are typing the words begin from the line don't worry about it uh, so we say github.com then next we have a forward slash then our username and remember our username uh, from the repository we created so it's forward slash our username was autom tutor then we go by forward slash okay and we can make a reference but uh, we go with forward slash at alex which is now the repository we are cloning so our repository was a alex low level programming you can click on it okay and uh, copy the name of the repository you want to clone or you can just type it out so in this case i'll copy it Control C, then I go now to the terminal. This is not the terminal I'm looking for. I'm looking for the web terminal. Yes, here and paste that. Then I finish with dot git and I'm done. So if I type that, enter, I see clothing and ensure you see this message you appear to have cloned an empty repository and we have finished cloning our repository okay so just know that command and what we'll do i'll now walk over that command again i will create a file access token uh, code and then use v to open it then click i so that uh, i can enter code so the command is git clone https full colon and then it should be followed by two forward slashes and after that it's followed by access token access token and after access token we go with um, access token at github.com then forward slash username forward slash the repository we are cloning dot git and you're done so that is the code for cloning a repository from the terminal and i hope you get it i believe now you are able to connect your github create connect it and start doing your your projects see you in the next tutorial